Good morning. So today I'm going to talk about using fear for maintaining the upper hand in narcissistic supply. So why do I bring this to the attention of the collective? Well, I can tell you that right now for me, that's exactly what's happening. He's attempting to use fear. Basically, as recently as yesterday, sent me a message telling me what I can or can't do with the money without punishment. Or if I do certain things, there will be punishment. And I knew this already. I, I totally understood this beforehand, which thank God, because it's hard to scare somebody who's ready for you. I just want you to know that. It's hard not to be like disdaining <laughs> under the circumstances because I feel like I've helped this person so much in life. And to have them come out with, you can live under a bridge for all I care while I'm so sick, it leaves evident, it lays bare what the goal is. If I'm under a bridge, homeless, I don't live. And he knows it. So because I, I keep having... <clears throat> these really kind of serious, uh, almost catastrophic issues when I have them. They're really serious, and this has happened repeatedly. I've gone into shock a couple of times. One time he bought me some food that, that I ate, and I we were driving home. And I'm not. I, this wasn't his fault, by the way. He actually did his part, I believe. At least he said he did. I hope that that's true. Uh to make sure that it didn't have MSG or gluten or any of the millions of things with cancer you really shouldn't have or can't have because your body just can't process it. So we're driving home after I ate, and I just felt kind of sick to my stomach, and I was like, ooh, I feel like this isn't going well. Something about this food did not work for me. And I'd had COVID several times, so, you know, maybe... There was some stomach involvement in my process of COVID because each time I got COVID, I I would get stomach issues, vomit. I almost died from COVID, right? So there's just been many, many little things along the way that have just been really scary. And so what I want people to know is this, is that it's really easy to get frightened. And when we get frightened, we want to... We, it brings up our cortisol levels. It, it's flight, fight or flight, a number of things. And we've been taught this as who we are. We're, we're taught, okay, oh gosh, be scared. Oh my God, you know, fear, 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 fear. It's very normal to teach us in that sense and for us to operate in fear and acting shocked and unprepared. And so I I knew yesterday when I saw the message that yeah it he he's wanting me to know as I'm doing what's called gray rocking or just you know ignoring I'm just not engaging and why would I I mean it's not of a healthy nature and if somebody wants to engage with me bring me something I can engage in don't bring me your little boy garbage. I'm just not interested. I'm I'm a woman. I have I have a sensibility about me and you bring me something sensible we can visit. If if not, then you know, don't expect a whole lot from me because probably I'm just not gonna be that interested and that's where we're at. So what I'm saying to those of you who are, like myself, experiencing this collective narcissism collapse breakdown where we have Taurus, how we live in our homes, and we have Scorpio and the eclipse, okay? And that's going to be about the issues that are hidden, the, the, the dark secrets, the, the unseeable. It's being exposed. It's like, it's like, Something is taking and ripping open the guts, and inside we're seeing what really is inside, OK? 
okay? Not pretty. It stinks. And I've mentioned this before, that we're in a process of exposure. For me now, I will tell you that amongst my medical astrologer friends and other astrologers, I kept saying that I saw death in my chart. Not my chart. I thought it was actually uh, the dude's chart. I thought he was, and I was just studying the hell out of it because I was like, oh, it's right there, it's right there, it's right there. And I couldn't quite figure out what it was I was seeing. Well, it was actually in my chart. It was my Jupiter as I was getting sick, I was quietly accepting that I didn't have anywhere to go, that he was taking all the foundation out from underneath me, okay? But now I want to back up a little bit. Can he even do that? Is that even possible? Well, yes, as a woman, I I fear a man's power and control over me, and and want to shudder a little bit and hide. That's kind of natural given the way we've all been taught that, that, that relationships in this sense, that, you know, when you get married, you say to your, your spouse, your male spouse, I promise to honor and obey you, which I actually, when I married him, I had that taken out because there was never any way that that would have been truthful. I, it would have been lying through my teeth. I have son conjunct Uranus, you know, I'm liable to say and do anything and and it's in leo so <laughs> no this is not a girl you're going to see coming right i'm not going to be that easy so yeah no, i had them take that out but i want all of you to know that in this sense there's, there's things to be hopeful for you you know somebody can tell you what whatever they want and the fact that they have to use words like a sea of distraction to keep you from focusing where your energy belongs should tell you right there that you have a lot more power over them than they do over you. And that is the number one message that narcissists want us to buy, that they are more powerful and can harm us than we are. And I'm here to tell you that's just not true. If you just slow down, think about what it is that's, ex- that's, that's being exposed and unfolding, and take your time. Think, think it through. Don't allow their pushy energy to push you through your thinking. Take your time. And you don't have to decide things right away. Learn to meditate. Learn to pray. Learn to walk into a space where you can let go of what you think you know and be open to something you don't know so that you don't have to operate in fear. Because there's nothing more ridiculous than a narcissist and their desire to control you because they're so lifeless. And with that, please do book a reading because, well, I don't know where my next paycheck is coming from because I'm being told I'm not worthy of housing and I can't at this time end this sham of a marriage because, well, quite frankly, the medical insurance issues I have, the law doesn't allow for us to part because he can't just abandon his responsibilities to me. So and I don't like the idea, not at all, of having to get legal with him. He surely does not have the upper hand. I know he thinks he does, but no, not so, not so fast. But I don't want to harm anybody. That's the problem, right? I don't want to harm him. How sickening is he? But as I said, book a reading. Contact me. I know that <clears throat> my my website's not completely ready. I got to get a secure socket layer for you to actually be able to book through that site. So contact me, like, share, subscribe, and leave comments. Tell me what you're thinking because we all have something to say here. Thank you so much.